Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Not very likely. You staying at the hotel? Not at all. The face is familiar. Possible you've seen it in the newspapers or magazines, um, Vanity Fair. That must be it. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute. I know, I know, I know. But, <clears throat> I'm here now. So, hopefully everybody has been having a good new year so far. Um, I can't really say much because the year is just starting. And, I don't know, but... I guess this is time to catch up on some tea or something. I don't know. But I wanted to do <clears throat> some makeup today because I am trying out a new product. It is Giorgio Ormani's Lick. Oh my God. I'm trying out a new product by Giorgio Ormani. It's the Fluid Sheer Glow Enhancer, which is this right here. So. I'm guessing it's kind of like a bronzer, <coughs> highlighter, bronzer type situation. So, we're gonna see. I'm gonna start with um, putting some foundation on. You guys, um, y'all know I don't really do my makeup like that. So, right now, this is just random, honestly. And y'all know I like to do it a little bit sometimes for a live stream or if I feel like taking some pictures or something. Other than that, you know, this is not really my thing. This is not a tutorial. So please don't do what I do. This is not a tutorial, okay? I'm just doing makeup the way I usually, you know, do it or the way I know how. All right, I'm not a makeup guru, please. Don't get no tips from me. So, I don't know about y'all, but I'm super glad for the new year. Last year was kind of boo boo. And now I'm ready to move on. Ready for some, some new action. Ready for some new jobs, some new income. Um, I don't know if you guys know. I usually put it in my uh, captions. But I have my own business. I've already had my own business. But, um... I rebranded and so I have like um, my candles and everything my tea everything has new labels and new packaging so I've been really focused on um, I've been really focused on that honestly trying to if y'all see me looking over here that's cuz my mirror is over here trying to get that you know going getting it together and honestly it's been a struggle. Um, it's been open for a while. But y'all know how it is. Like, when nothing's going on for real, you kind of just want to be like, oh, forget it. Like, why am I doing this again? But I'm still going, still going. And hopefully things start picking up this year. That's the goal. The goal is for things to start picking up for me this year. Because I honestly don't want to be working in nobody's business, okay? Um, the job that I'm working right now is only part-time. So I'm looking for something more full-time. I applied for substitute teaching, so we'll see, you know, how that goes. But other than that, I mean, who doesn't want to work their own business? 
who wants to work for somebody else? Some people, I guess, because that's what they enjoy. Me, personally, that's not something I enjoy. I like to do stuff when I want to do it. Do stuff that's enjoyable for me. Not feeling like a task. So, that's why I kind of started getting into live streaming and stuff. Because it was like a cool way to sit at home, see if you could get some money, meet new people, talk and everything. So, I've been doing that as well. I'll leave my um, TikTok and stuff in my description. So, if y'all could follow me, that would be great. I don't have a thousand followers, but I can go live because of my TikTok shop. So, because I have a TikTok shop, they let me go live. But no, I don't have a thousand followers. So if y'all want a cheat code to be able to go live on TikTok, make you a store like I did. And see how it goes. So this um foundation that I'm using, I've had this for a while. Um, I kind of bounce between this and some other ones. But right now, I feel like I'm darker, so this one is working fine for me. This is Nutmeg by, um, I think this is Milani. The label is gone, but I think this is Milani. Um, I don't think it's Wet and Wild. It, it, I think it's Milani. Mad, mad, matter of fact, I'm lying. Um, it's Black Radiance. <coughs> Completely wrong. So yeah, that's Black Radiance. And I have a little cough. I woke up New Year's Day with a weird cough. So yeah, I apologize in advance for coughing in your face. But yeah. So as y'all can see, I just dabbed it in. I just dabbed a little in all over the place. Just dab. I ain't trying to go too crazy as long as it evens out my skin tone a little bit. We're not trying to go crazy. Just make me a little more even. I don't know if that helped. I had like a breakout in this side of my face. My skin was mad at me because I've been eating bad food. As y'all can see, everything is big on me right now. Everything's big. Because I need to lose some weight. So that's one thing we need to go ahead and stop procrastinating on and get back into the channel. Me personally, that's what I need to do. I don't know about y'all, but... Mm, that's what I need to do. But one reason why I hadn't been is because um, I have issues with my back. So that's why I hadn't been. And then I got busy one month and I just wasn't going got lazy you know how it is when you're doing something for a while and then stuff occurs you're not home whatever the case is and then now you just not going at all which in the end is not gonna hurt anybody but you because i'm still gotta pay for it you feel me so, I'm paying for something that I'm not using. <laughs> so, in the, in the long run, I'm going to be looking crazy. I'm paying for some services that I'm not using. So, I don't even have my brushes in here. So, y'all know. This is not a tutorial. I promise you. 
I'm just using old products that I have. And talking. Because it's been a long time. And there's so much content that I could do. And I just procrastinate. Because I don't know. It's like, I don't know. I want to do videos like other people do. And I get lost in the sauce trying to do everything at one time. Which is not a good look for me. So I just put some um, setting powder on it that I just put on my eyes. That was some concealer um, by Lancome. All over concealer. I only really use this for that because it's not my color, not my shade at all. It's B I S N 62U100. I don't know what that means, but yeah. So, <clears throat> um, on this Lancome stick right here, I think it was supposed to be foundation, but it's too dark for me, so I use it for contour. I like to put like a little bit here, a little bit here. Sometimes I do my nose, but I don't have to. But sometimes I do my nose. But it really don't matter. So I just blend in. I don't like to put too much because I already have high cheekbones. So it really don't matter, honestly. I just do it for a little effect on my face. So everything don't look matte and flesh. And as y'all can see, I had did my eyebrows <clears throat> earlier. And they are very dark. I need to get my other brushes and stop using the same one. But it doesn't look too bad so far. All right, hold on. I'm going to get my other brushes. I'm back. So I had got these brushes on Amazon <coughs> by Shaney. These. They all have like different colors on the ends. Two sided brushes. These ones are very soft and I love the colors. So, yeah, I got that. Okay, so back to what I was doing, which was trying to blend this under eye a little bit. It doesn't look too bad though. Y'all know I'm minimal. I'm not doing all that extra stuff. Not all the time. I just do it good enough so I can put take a picture. That's my that's my thing. I do it good enough so I can get a picture. And now I'm about to see if I can fix these eyebrows a little bit. So I don't really use concealer when I do my eyebrows. I use some of my foundation. It's just easier for me. I like to use foundation. So, I'm gonna try over here in my mirror. So, yeah. Um, I did wanna tell everybody that I'm starting a women's group. Um, the fact that I gotta be quiet while I'm doing my eyebrows is beyond me. Um. <laughs> But I'm starting a women's group. It's called um, it's called Healing Girls Link. So 
any anybody who's interested in joining let me know but it really is just about um obviously you know working on healing and self-care so that is the main the main goal of this group that i'm starting and it doesn't matter who you are where you are in the world but everybody needs to you know um have a group of people that can stand behind them and hold them accountable for their self-care journey and just give good advice so that's why i'm doing it and i want to do a lot of things like a book club so i can stop collecting books and not reading them but i would like to do like book club so that was one of the ways i was going to um have that going by doing it in the group so um for instance like i wanted to do i don't i don't oh y'all can't see my books but it's blurred but sacred woman is one that i have yet to crack open and it's not because i don't want to read it it's because i really wanted to do it with like a group i really wanted to do sacred woman with a book club that way we can like discuss like certain things um and i'm really tired like i was on like when i was dealing with certain you know individuals in my life i used to watch a whole lot of um podcasts and stuff because i wanted to figure out okay like well what is it that i need to learn about how men operate or just learn about myself that way i can you know be more um aware of like certain behaviors that I may have or not have, you know, that would be productive to uh, entertaining anybody. So I used to watch a lot of those and then all of a sudden, like the ones I were watching started going viral online for some of the stuff that they were saying. And of course, I didn't agree with a lot of this stuff because people have different opinions on how people should act or what they should do. And it's really situational, honestly, whatever you discuss with whoever you're talking to. But yeah, I guess the point is, I feel like if I were to be able to facilitate some of these conversations in a group setting with women we could all like see what it is that we need to work on and what what's important to where we are in our journey right now in life so that we are more prepared to not only know what we want for ourselves and love ourselves wholeheartedly but not to step into a season of like continuously picking the same kind of people over and over and over again because that's what we tend to do like we have a type of person that we will continuously pick over and over again and it's like in subtle ways like I can say like um somebody that i was interested in like dealing with for um a long time he was very much like somebody that i had dealt with in the past when i was like younger and it was like a whole lot of ways but it was kind of like times 10 so you gotta be careful like with what you ask for like because you will get it trust me you go get it now 
it's up to you like you know how you handle the outcome of that but yeah you gotta be careful with what you ask the universe for god whoever you're asking because you will get it you very specific that's another thing that i want to you know make sure that um doing in the group setting is like having everybody make intentional choices like somebody was um telling me the other day like they didn't really sorry my girl they were not really understanding like what women mean like when we say intentional like obviously intentional means with a reason like he, we were like discussing like intentional like dating and for me intentional dating would be i'm dating you you're dating me we um this is um some more contour i'm putting it around it's not, it's it's a little not that dark right now i guess because i'm still tanned but yeah, but for me, intentional means I'm dating you, you're dating me. We have common goals. We've discussed that up front. Like, all right, I'm looking for a long-term relationship. I'm looking for something that can turn into getting married, A, B, C, D, and stuff like that. So I thought that was pretty, like, common sense. I thought that was, like, common, like, people date with the intention of whatever they agree to but maybe it's not i don't know but i just know what it means for me what it means for me is i'm gonna ask you up front like what are you looking for blah 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 what your intentions are and go from there like and if we don't have the same goal in mind then obviously that means we don't need to be talking to each other and that's just what it is like yeah you can change your mind at some point like okay i met this person we started talking we had the same you know mindset at first but now i don't want to talk to them no more like or i'm not interested in them like that no more after i got to know them so then that's when things change but you have to let that person know so that they can move on and go to somebody who is you know trying to invest in them not just keep continuing to talk to them knowing that you don't really like them like that and expecting it to work out or stringing them along to think that you like them like that and you it, it ain't going so yeah that's what i meant you know okay let me see so i did some contour i did some foundation we did something to these eyebrows um I didn't put no mascara on yet. Let me see about this Georgia, Georgia or Armani. Yeah, so this is what it's looking like. Of course, it's close to my skin color. <laughs> Everything is close to my skin color because I'm really like orange. I'm an orange girl. So, um, I don't really know, like, how i want to do this so i'm gonna just put it like it's a highlighter i'm gonna put some here around my cheek we winging this okay we just winging it i'm gonna put some on my nose Y'all see that? It's glowing down the middle of my nose. And then I'ma just... Is it giving me a little shimmer? A little razzle dazzle? I don't know. Then I got some on here. I'ma put it um, underneath my eyebrow.
Alright. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's looking better over there than it is in my mirror. Which is crazy. Because I'm looking at the real me. Okay, so we got a little shimmer shimmer. Now, I got some more here, so. Okay, yeah, it's giving, it's giving glow. That's all I'm gonna do, okay? Because, like I said, your girl is not a professional. <laughs> we not a professional. We just do what we do and take pictures. But I'm gonna do a little bit of, uh, ooh, a little bit of powder. So it don't look extra shiny, but y'all can see the little glow coming through still. And I'm gonna do my favorite <coughs> colors. Um, since I put that shimmer underneath my eyes, I'm gonna go in with this color right here. It's called bron. Well, oh my god, I said it's called bronzer. It's bronzer. So. I'm going to put a little bit underneath my eyebrow. I use a bronzer, highlighters, all that for eyeshadows. I use them. And it's giving me glittery, okay? It's giving me some glitter. Yeah, no, I'll be doing too much. I usually just put on some, um, like brown, gold. Those like my go-tos. So I got another bronzer, and it's kind of like a brown color. I don't know if y'all can see it, but I'm gonna put that on my eyelid. Y'all probably like, why is she putting in bronzer? I might go get my other eyeshadow palette. I don't know. I don't know. And then there's this blush, but it's like a red color. It's like a red, reddish, orange color. I don't know, but I like it. So I'm going to use that. And I'm gonna put some of that on too. Look at it, pretty. I guess it's like a brick. I guess that's what you would call it, like a brick color. Oh, that's a nice little color. Oh yeah, that's a nice little color. I like that. And then I'm gonna put some on this side. Now, it seems like this side is brighter than the other one. 
It probably is, because I can't see. Yeah. And it's going up the crease a little more. So we want to add some more on this side. And please don't expect no eyelashes because I don't know how to put no eyelashes on. I just bought a whole new thing of them and I don't know how I'm supposed to put them on. Like, I know, like, I got glue, but I just can't do it. Like, I don't know if I'm supposed to put them on from the bottom of my eyelashes or the top. So, that's what I got going on. Hopefully, I don't look too crazy. And then, <clears throat> I want to put um, some of this darker red which is also a blush in the little crease area i'm really supposed to let me use this other brush this is the only one i haven't used yet but we using her today Okay, and I'm just putting this in the little crease area, giving it a different little color going on. Y'all yeah, probably can't barely even see that, but it's, it's, it's pink, like a pinky red. Please don't ask me to do no makeup. I used to love doing people makeup when I was younger. But now, nah, because I barely do it, so. And when I was younger, it was just for, you know, play play, so. It wasn't like I was really making nobody look good. Okay, I wasn't going for anything like I wasn't trying to be a makeup artist or nothing I just enjoyed playing in it so I got this gold right here I'm gonna put a little bit in the corner of my eye on the waterline I love gold on the bottom of my eyelid that's my thing. And then when I finish that, I'm actually gonna try to blend that bronzer I put on the top of my eyelid a little better because I don't like the way it's looking. Okay, so there we have it. Your girl is getting orange brick road. Um, I got a little gold on the bottom. I'm gonna put some mascara on. As I said, y'all know I don't really be doing too much. I do enough so it look good. If it don't look good enough. I put me a little filter on it. So this brown was supposed to be contour. Let me see, I'm gonna see, put a little bit on my nose. That's definitely not contour for me because it's definitely orange.
Yeah, no. <laughs> Wait, how? How? Can y'all see that? Where is it going? Okay, yeah. So, I think I got rid of it. I'm gonna put a little bit more of this shimmery um, Georgia Armani Liquid Sheer Glow Enhancer on And I am about to be done. I'm gonna put on this um setting miss And I'm done. Okay. I'm not done. A lot. I got this uh, Juvia's Place lip gloss. It was like a swirl of like pink and brown. And I had some brown liner. And LA Color. Um, I say LA Color. LA Girl Brown. That's what it is. I'm gonna put that on. So there you go. I got the brown. And now I'm gonna put this one. It is a gloss. So, I don't know what number is calling me from Cali, but okay. Um, <clears throat> and then I'm putting this other gloss that I have. So really, we got a brown lip because that's what it's getting brown. And if you want to put some pink in the middle, you can. I don't think I got any pink in here. But yeah, if I wanted to change it up because it's brown lip, it's not necessarily the it girl, but it looks all right for now. And mm, I like brown liner, but. A brown, all brown lip. Nah. Let's change. So, I gave her a kiss. I took some off already. Yeah, it already looks better. I like the brown liner, but I got this pink right here.
this is my look so far brown poop blue dries gold bronze all of that i'll be right back so i am back and this is my final my final decision um yeah my hair is not curled the way it was earlier <sighs> of course it's gonna fall but yeah we got a little hang time going on why am i wearing green this time of the year i don't know but yeah i'm done thank you for watching this video make sure you guys hit the subscribe button the bell when I post every other blue moon, <laughs> I'm gonna try to do some more content. But yeah, this is it for the video. Um, this is my look. Like, I don't know what else more you want from me. Okay, I'm out.